Okay, so today is the 22nd of August. It's just the end of winter and spring is, uh, is around the corner. Already the weather has started warming up. So um, these are all the seeds that I've saved um, from the last growing season. Some of them, I can't remember what they are. Some of them I can take a wild guess. Um, I think this is the same as this. Um, it's the Harvard squash. This is butternut squash. And this one here, um, it's some pumpkin. I don't know what's it, what it's called. Um, I got it from my grandma. Uh, obviously, these are sunflower seeds. Um, this one here... Um, I'm thinking it's the giant Swiss chard. There's the giant Swiss chard, some sun patients, and cosmos flowers I took from the side of the highway. Yeah, so some of these seeds I got from friends, like I got this one from my good friend Sharon, and these ones here, I got them from Sharon. That one I got it from, I think it's paprika. No, no, no. Is it paprika? Cayenne pepper. It's cayenne pepper. I got it from Jaws. And this is um, Rocket. I got it from Jaws. So now I'll just try and package them properly. I hope they're still viable. And yeah, I need to start. Yeah, I need to start them on, on seed trays. So today is the 4th of August, we are at the end of winter, the past few days have been particularly cold and some of the plants were frost damaged just like this aubergine here. Well now that spring is around the corner I thought to myself I should do something different this year and prepare for spring. And that's exactly what I did. I bought literally a truckload of mushroom compost. Yeah. 
Ja. The big idea is to redesign the garden altogether, to create new garden beds, improve the soil quality. Because the current soil quality is terrible, I'm assuming it must be nutrient deficient sandy soil. This is a big task. I would not have been able to do it alone. So I decided to get help. Because my garden is located on a slope, I decided to remove all the soil to try and flatten the surface. On the surface, I will put a layer of cardboard followed by the soil which will be mixed with compost. So this is the final product. The garden beds are leveled. They're no longer sloping anymore. Compost has been added. At this point, I'm jumping for joy. I'm ready for spring. There is something so special about touching soil, about touching plants, about touching trees. Someone once wrote, I don't know why it feels so good to touch a tree. Maybe because the life within is so different from ours and also exactly the same. Maybe because it's like touching time, touching soil and sun and seasons of rain. Maybe it is just love and I share the same sentiment.
I have tons of grocery bags piling up in my kitchen. I've decided to grow potatoes in them. Apparently, harvesting will be a breeze. It is said that gardening is a metaphor for life, cliché I know, but clichés carry a lot of truth in them. I never understood that until now. Gardening has taught me so many lessons. By planting seeds, I've learned to exercise patience, a virtue that I struggle a lot with. With many gardening fails I've experienced, I've been taught humility. It has taught me to see my maker clearly. I think even the meaning of life has been revealed to me, which is to seek our maker. And when we find him, we must create an intimate relationship with him and thereafter imitate him. After all, we are made in his image, isn't it? And lastly, we must tell others or teach others about our sovereign rule of the universe. I am using dried leaves to mimic the forest floor. Over time, this will break down and form compost.
This lemon tree has been unhappy for months since I bought it in January. I bought it at a discount price. My plan was to rescue it. Finally, I figured out why was it so unhappy. It had root bound and ants were nesting on the roots. So I'm finally reporting it and I'm hoping for the best. Now let's wash off the ants that decided to make my tree their home. A month later, things are looking good. Oh dear, this lemon tree here alone is responsible for my happiness. It is recovering so, so well. Please keep this image of the garden in your mind. We will check in again in two months to see progress. I know it doesn't look like much now, but this is the beginning of greater things to come.
At this point of the video, I would like to thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. I promise to upload a new video every week so you won't miss out on anything if you subscribe and by subscribing you'll be the first to know when i have a new video and you'll also be joining a community of other people who are interested in slow living and intentional living so if you want to see more videos from me please please hit that subscribe button and turn on notification thank you again for watching i appreciate you